Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast. I'm your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today we are going to be talking about the breadth of experience. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right. Well, thank you very, very much, everyone, for tuning in. I hope you are having a great day. Um, if you can, if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably tell that I'm pretty much a lobster. Um, so yeah, I just got in from doing a window washing job, which is obviously different from what I normally do. Obviously, uh, you all know that I work in the oil and gas industry, or I'm in the training center. Yeah washing windows make sure to take some sunscreen anyways aside from that let's dive into today's episode so here we are talking about the breadth of experience what does that really mean well it is a measurement of your experience and your logbook is what tells everybody what that is so when you open up a logbook you want to be able to look and see that okay this person has done some window washing this person has done some geo work this person's done some oil and gas kind of electrical work or whatever it may be that's really good information however unfortunately I have seen a lot more people on the complete opposite side of that spectrum and they have only done window washing they have only ever done oil and gas basic labor work. They have only done geo work. Well, that's great because it's keeping you employed. However, with your certification and the certification scheme, you know, going from one to two or two to three, it's extremely important to get that experience in different industries. As a rope access technician, you have Window washing, geo work, wind turbine stuff. You have solar work. You have, hell, snow removal. Um, and the list goes on and on and on and on. But if you've gone from level one, two, three, and only ever stayed in one industry, my question to you is how competent are you actually as per the certification? Now, for myself, speaking from experience myself, I have a lot of oil and gas industry. I have near to no experience in the geo side of things. I have some mountain rescue side of uh, things, some mountain rescue, mountain ops kind of stuff. And almost no window washing experience, but, you know, a little bit. But that's it. Um, but how competent am I as a rope access level three that can literally go anywhere in the world and do any sort of rope access job? Well, that depends. If I fall under those categories that I've listed of my experience, I would say that I'm relatively competent. But throw me on a wind turbine and I'm completely out of my element. I'll be like a fish out of water. Um, because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing on a wind turbine. Never been on one. Yeah, I don't know the first thing about a wind turbine. So I can't take a crew up to the top and go and do a blade uh, repair or anything like that. It's just not proper. Okay, got a piece of paper says I'm a level three. Cool, still doesn't allow me to walk on water. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, because it's an important part of the process of becoming a level three in the rope access industry, but not limited specifically to or only to the rope access industry. This could be the fire rescue side of things too. Um, just for a quick example here in the fire rescue, you could be in one location working gorges and canyons all day long and every day or you can be in a complete different region and doing mountain ops and rappelling off rock faces and or doing long line 
winch rescues in, in mountainous terrain. A lot of the hazards are the same, but the scale is different. Okay. So that's kind of what we're talking about here, just, you know, in a bigger picture. Um, you know, if you're an arborist, you know, working on one set tree is different from working on a different set of trees. Um, so that's what I want to kind of, you know, shine light on here. Obviously, I don't have experience in in the arborist industry, um, but, you know, a little bit of experience in the mountain rescue fireside, but like not in the canyons. I haven't worked in canyons really. Most of my experience comes from the rope access industry, and that's really what I can shine light on. But why is it important? Well, the reason being is if we can sit down and look at this as an industry and get pe more people to gain experience in other industries, then those technicians will be able to pass those skills on to the lower generations and then make our industry as a whole safer and better and more competent. Just because you have a piece of paper doesn't make you competent in that line of work. What makes you competent is experience in that line of work. So, before you head out there on your job, make sure that you ask the questions, talk to the people, get the mentoring, because you just never know what could happen. All right? So that's all I got for today. Just a quick, easy uh, podcast for you to listen into, kind of give it a think about. Make sure to comment um, on this. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit up, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. It does help my channel. Um, and then, yeah, absolutely hit the subscribe button down here. Hit the bell for notifications as I put out new content every Sunday. And yeah, until next time.